all of this really comes together within what we call the Python notebook. Now, hosted Python notebooks are something new. They're something we've introduced inside of Enterprise that allows for modeling, simulation, and integration of all this data into a hosted notebook. Now, a hosted notebook can be shared as an item within your portal so that it becomes yet just another way to share your information and build a collaboration, pulling in open science libraries, your data storage and lakes, analytic services all together. But rather than just talk about it, I've asked Shannon to come up and show us. Now, Shannon is a former Texan, but now is in the product management team in Redlands. Shannon? Thanks, Damien. And you're never a former Texan. <laughs> hey, everyone. I'm Shannon Kaliski, and ArcGIS Notebooks brings familiar data science tools directly within the Esri Geospatial Cloud, allowing you to use Jupyter to create hosted Python notebooks that are tightly integrated with your portal, and all powered by a new ArcGIS Notebook server that runs within ArcGIS Enterprise. Now, if you've never heard of Python notebooks before, you can think of them as being like Model Builder, except instead of using graphic elements to build your model, you write code. Let's take a look. To get started, I'll use the new notebook option within the portal. By default, this first cell will bring in the ArcGIS API for Python, but one of the best features of ArcGIS Notebooks is that it has open Python libraries ready for me to use. So I'll import two of my favorites. I'll bring in Pandas for exploring libraries and Seaborn for charting it. And in addition to the open source integration, I can also import ArcPy so that I can solve even the most complex spatial problems. So imagine you're trying to solve a problem, such as understanding the patterns within your competitor's activity. And for that, you'll need data. Now, using the notebook interface, I have access to all of the data within my organization. So I can search for layers that are relevant to my analysis such as this layer for active permits. In addition to that, I can search from the thousands of data sets that are available within the Living Atlas so that I can look for layers that may help complete my full, full workflow. Now that I have this data in the notebook, let's draw it on a map to see if there's any patterns that immediately stand out. No surprise, it looks like there's a lot of activity here in the Permian. Now, let's dive a little deeper into the data to see if there's more we can learn. Using pandas, I can explore the attributes of this data more easily. I see there's a field for permit type. We'll chart the data around this field to see how it's distributed. Now that I have a better understanding of my data, it's time to do some analysis. Not only does ArcGIS Notebooks give me access to tools from the Python API and ArcPy, but I also have access to any of the analysis tools that are available in my portal, such as the standard analysis tools, geoanalytics tools, and tools for raster analysis. Now, for this problem, I'll use the find point clusters tool so that I can identify the real patterns from the noise. And while that runs, I can continue to write code, removing the raw data that I started with and adding the results of my analysis. Give that just a second to complete. Now let's take a look at our map. 
we can see that the data in our map has changed, and now we can identify the statistically significant clusters of data within the Permian. Now for the next step of my analysis, I know exactly where to focus my work and ignore all of these noise and gray. And now that I've finished my work, I'm gonna go ahead and save my notebook and share it with others in my organization so the folks in my team can check out what I've done and pick up where I've left off. Now, this example was pretty simple, but notebooks can be much more sophisticated. And to showcase the many ways that ArcGIS notebooks can be used to solve problems, we've included a gallery of ready-to-use samples with data included so that you can learn something new or just jumpstart an analysis that you're working on. And these samples include everything from site selection to routing to spatial machine learning, deep learning for object detection, and even common administrative workflows. And all of this is available today alongside ArcGIS Enterprise 10.7. And I can't wait to see what you do with it. Thank you. Thanks, Shannon.